Eight at eight, shade four five, Street Sweeper Radio. DJ K Slate, drama king in the building. Chrissy D in the building. What's up, Chrissy? Hey, world. What's, what's going on? What's going on? Everything good with you? Everything is wonderful. Southside. Yes, all day. Southside. Jamaica, all day. Queens. Up in Jamaica, Queens. Dangerous over there. Most definitely. Let me explain something to you. If you rock with a chick in Southside, if you go visit her, make sure you tight with her brother. <laughs> or don't go. Real talk. And good advice. Yeah, I think I don't know. <laughs> Shit, I know that whole area. <laughs> Look, we got another special guest just walked in the building. We, I'm proud to say we got a real, true lyricist in the motherfucking building. Yeah. We got Benny the Butcher. The Butcher the coming. Oh, yeah. damn. Well, what's up with you? Working, man. Staying busy, staying sucker free, sucker ducking. You understand? No, what I'm I saying? see you, you're OG. You know what I mean? You you, you stand in. Out the you way. You stand loopy. Yeah, my nigga, at the hand of my business, it'd be nine o'clock sometime. I'm in the crib, B. Oh, that's a fact. You this what I'm saying? This man. should take up a lot of time anyway. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Handle your business, go home, man. Be there for your family. That's Everything right. else is bullshit. That's right. You can say that again. All my young brothers out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no game no more. Oh, they gonna find out. They gotta. They gotta learn the hard way. They gonna learn the hard way. Yeah, but we got you up here, man. What's yes, going sir. on with you right now? Hey, yo, man, I just dropped some shit. Ten to talk three. Some of the mm-hmm. hardest shit out right now. Some of the hardest street music. Mm-hmm. With Zelda Records, I got Conway Westside on there. Royce the Five Nine. Produced all by Derringer and Alchemist. Shout out to the homie. So shout out to Alchemist. Woo, you yeah. got that. Whoa, that's a oh, fact. Man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. R.I.P. Prodigy. He did most his. Uh, oh work yeah, rest everything. in peace to P. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how many tracks is on the project? 14. 14. 14 tracks, all hard. It's all rapping on there. There's nothing, nothing glittery on there. And shout out, uh, thank you for the shout out on that joint. You know oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's I, a you know, fact. Was, that's the joint I've been knocking. You no know what real saying, shit. Saying? Pulled up you. on K-Slate, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah. I'm paying attention, you know? So, right now, with the state of the game currently, mm-hmm. how do you feel about the hip-hop game? Like... Like I, all honesty, don't hold back. Oh, this all right, is gonna be good. I, you gonna say what you say? I'm gonna say what I. You know, I don't listen. Go, Let it fuck. out. This what I uh, like the hip hop game. I feel like for the spitters, shit getting shit getting back how it need to be. I see a lot okay. of niggas been encouraged to rap now. You feel what I'm saying? But to me, you know what I'm saying I'm a street nigga like everybody else. This is my first couple years in this business. I'm fresh right. out the projects. The business part, it's a piece of shit business. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's 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 corny. But for the spitters, the niggas who busting they pen. I'm saying the game coming back, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's really based on popularity and other shit, but for niggas who really doing what they need to do with that pen, I mean, people, all people say hip-hop is dead, but all the top niggas in the game right now, it's other niggas who up there, but all the top niggas in the game gonna always be niggas who know how to write, from the Holes, from the J. Coles, from the Kendricks, to even the exactly. Drakes, niggas who, niggas who rap, you know what I mean? Yeah, niggas who say hip-hop is dead use drugs. That's a fact. All y'all use drugs because <laughs> how could the element where all the trash niggas is eating from be dead? If it was no hip hop, they wouldn't right, be eating. Right. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Wide open. That's a fact. My suggestion, right? This is what I like to happen in 2019. It might not happen. First of all, we never hating on our youngins. Right. We can't because they come from where we come from. They might be fucking whack as hell and bugged out, but if they could feed their family and get out the hood. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And find a better way of life through this shit, granted. But right. what we're not going to do is we're not going to call shit that's not hip-hop, hip-hop. Right. We're going to make some shit called popularity hop. Mm-hmm. Right. Popular right. hop. All right? That's because right. some of these motherfuckers don't deserve to be in the same category as a motherfucking Jay-Z. No, you or Kendrick shit. or J. Yes. Cole. Like, you're how does right. certain individuals beat a Jay-Z in the category, or beat a Nas in the category of hip-hop? No, nigga, you're not even doing hip-hop. You're doing popular hop. Right, real shit. So, <laughs> it's love. Right. And I want these niggas to eat, and I'm never, ever going to hate on a young nigga coming. I'm never. But. But. but don't ever start thinking you fact. better than niggas because you're more popular at the time. Right. And, you know, your mom's was using some shit. And <laughs> so this is what trickled down on you. So you dumb as fuck. Mm. So all you know how to do is talk about drugs. Real shit. And shit that have no substance. No right. substance. Now, Yo, and not from the, uh, and hold on for a second, not from the aspect of I've seen it happen and everything. So I'm speaking about it. Mm-hmm. No, because you on it. We celebrated the motherfucking hustlers. The they hustlers. celebrating the users. Right, right. They on the it's other side other of that shit. shit. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm so that's my thing. I love you, little niggas. 
I'm supporting but. you, little nigga. But don't ever get cocky against any <laughs> of the right. true lyricists of the game. Because if we take and say, okay, put all your money to the side and all your jewelry and step now out what? with your sweatshirt, sweatshirt on and your Nikes, nigga, and the microphone, you dead. That's a fact. So don't. See, that's Ever. what I was thinking about. I was Play thinking yourself. about some crazy shit. I was high one day and thinking, like, hip-hop need to be, like, a, a institution. Like, the NBA got commissioners, the NFL. Like, you need to be a hip-hop commissioner. Before you even call yourself hip-hop, you got to be accepted by these group of people. And, of course, these group of people going to be hip-hop legends. Exactly. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, all that disrespectful like shit that and all idea. that, that's what I thought. You know what I'm saying? Just this shit letting anybody in. Hip-hop is the only thing that's like that. We can't keep letting everybody in. And if we do let niggas in, like we said, we want niggas to eat and feed their family and give other people opportunities. But you got to know certain shit and you got to respect certain shit so we know that hip-hop is in the right hands. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Like we like we were speaking earlier, Big Trill. I don't know where his fat ass went at. He out there on the computer. You heard me? You can hear me out there? That's crazy. Like, all right. So, like, what I'm saying is, we spoke early. It's a nigga on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. I ain't disrespecting him anything, but he ain't got no neck. Right, oh, nigga shit. that's like this with the no neck that they posting his picture. Nah, that nigga got a lot of neck. They okay. post. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> long story crazy. short, he made me aware of Slate. You know, dude got a million followers from that. Mm -hmm. He's verified, and you know, if a nigga go to him and tell him if you make a record, they'll sign him right now. That's a and fact. And this is the fuck. This is the shit I'm talking about. It, this game has nothing to do with substance. Lyricists and anything is popularity, so it's like, damn, here's a nigga who could have been grinding his whole life and never make it. He got to work in fucking path more. Mm. But here's a nigga who ain't got no fucking neck. In and, a way. In a way. That's what I'm saying. We in got to fucking find a name for that type of shit and get it the fuck away from the name hip hop. That's all I'm saying. That's what man. I was saying, because, like, yo, like, the nigga Travis, the nigga Tra that nigga got a crazy album. I, I fuck with that shit. Mm -hmm. I listen to that shit. But it's at, at the top of all these hip hop lists and everything like that. And, and he really not like traditional, he not traditionally rapping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I fuck with his music. I like that nigga. But it's like, it's weird to see him up there and then see them other names up there when when his shit was like ha half R&B and shit. You feel what I'm saying? They need they need to find a category for that. that that's all I'm saying. Let's, right. let's right. give another name for every category so everybody falls in the same category at these award shows i don't want to see no fucking weird nigga beating jay-z right. or nas or any motherfucking person that because even these, really these niggas tell you they're not rappers they say that shit exactly or they or say that or like niggas say probably, without even thinking twice shit. about it that's or, a fact or niggas say y'all started rapping in 2017 yo you understand <laughs> like, like lyrically lyric like literally real shit and then they can have on 10 chains on and everything be lit the fuck up and then another thing man all you tough niggas out here, y'all niggas need to shut the fuck up with all y'all shit. All the bullshit because when Smoke I was around, it. when I was around, only motherfucking kings who wear jewelry. Only kings can move around the way they move. Y'all niggas soft right now. These niggas is moving around town to town, doing all kind of talking crazy and everything. Where y'all, where y'all, where the stick of kids at? But we getting back to Where the tough time. niggas at? Where y'all niggas at? Don't be tough on the internet, my nigga. They let niggas come violate your motherfucking they, town. They be, do all kind of shit. They be paying them Listen, niggas off, man. I want everybody to just enjoy life and let everybody do what they do. Stop the tough talking, the killer shit and all that. Because your niggas ain't killing nothing no more. At all. Right. Anything. Y'all not doing nothing. And then, yo, know, it's just so fucking crazy right now. It pisses me off. But you know what? We got Benny the Butcher in the building. That's a fact. You already you know. got some music, right? Yes, What's the sir, first yeah. joint we getting into? Hey, yo, play this joint right here. This is some shit I did. I, re, uh, I performed this last night in Brooklyn. The fucking building went crazy. Rubber Bands and Weight is produced by Alchemist. This is some crazy hard shit. Just shot the video. Drop that. Hey, Shane, 4 5, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slate, Drama King of the Building. Chrissy D's here with us today. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Queen's chick in the building. Yes. Word up. Benny the Butcher's here. You already know that. So um, that's off the project. Yeah, that's off the joint. How right many here. tracks on that? Man, I got 14. I'm shooting videos to all of them shits. I got like five videos already done already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to put some shit out. Okay. I'm, saying, I'm just working. I'm a, I'm a hard working nigga, man. Once I get opportunities like this, I'm just staying in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Doing anything I could do. Push this shit to the next level. Consistency hey, pays off. That's a fact. That's a fact. Anything Word. you work hard at is going to gonna happen. That's what's up. So, I mean, at the end of the day, right? Mm hmm. You got a project out right now, right? Right, right. Is, it, is this. Uh, 
an EP, an album? Like, how, is a, what are you what are you pushing this as? This is an album. It's distributed through Empire, through Griselda okay. Records and Empire. Okay. You know what I'm saying it's an album, so you know what I'm saying. It's I'm getting some good looks on it. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you if y'all haven't heard Tanner Talk Three, my album, if you listen to street music, if you listen to the East Coast music, New York music, if you listen to that shit. I'm, I'm going to say it. This is the holy grail of it right now in 2018. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to take my word for it. Ask Kiss. Ask Ray Klon. Ask Ghost. These niggas all told me that to my face. You know what I'm saying? Well, Ghost was on the phone when he told me, but you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas made me confident in my project. That's Alchemist worked on it. This shit been put together and stamped by niggas who know hip-hop, so I'm confident in this shit. Mm. Now, I ain't going to lie. Y'all put in some work, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Your whole squad, but you, in general, I've been, I'm paying attention. You right, right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? Seeing niggas moving around, doing their thing. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Talking yeah. about something. Because niggas don't even know, like, niggas tell you, like, we, we did something with you, like, in 2005. You know what I'm saying? You hosted a mixtape a while yeah. ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You so, had to remind me that. No, real yeah, shit, real shit. Yeah, you had to remind me that. you. I do so much shit for brothers mm-hmm. doing the come up. You understand what I'm that's saying? That sometimes I forget. What the fuck I did when you then I thought I said oh shit that's that's some real shit right there we yeah, talking about yeah. thirteen years ago that's a thirteen joints ago fact. yeah exactly and to see y'all here now everybody in your spot like branched off doing mm-hmm. their thing but still together yeah, like a, together. like a like a like a Wu Tang but you know what I'm saying right, like right. you know doing their own thing that's a beautiful look right there that's a fact because we not a group we just all homies you yeah. know what I'm saying really those yeah. niggas are my cousins. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we not a group, but we come together, we go on tour together, do songs together, but you know what I'm saying? Pushing the culture forward. That's what's up. That's 88 exactly Shade 45 Street Sweeper Radio. What's the next joint we jumping into? Hey yo, this joint. Else? Yeah, this joint right here is called 97 Hove. You know what I'm saying? I got the feeling. Jay-Z is my favorite rapper, but 97 Jay-Z is my 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 favorite favorite rapper, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm on that shit 97 Hove. Let's rock. Let's drop that Shade 45. Hey, today, Shay 45, Street Sweeper Radio K Slate, Drama King in the building. Chrissy D in the building. Yeah. Why they call you Chrissy on. D? That's that D shit is some old school shit. Oh, uh, you know, I like that ring though. It works for me. It, it works for you? It definitely does. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I am mad at does. that. Word up. Sounds 90s. Benny the Bush is up here. You already know what's happening. Yo. I'm hearing some hard street, real hip hop music. This is hip hop music you playing. Yeah. Real shit, man. It's that. It's just the feeling, man. Mm-hmm. You know, good music make you feel. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. we about trying to create that feeling. Oh man, I miss that. When you listen to music and you could kind of like visualize and you feel it. Right. You can relate. You know. Goosebumps. You don't shit have that type anymore shit. so much. No, yeah. you know, you know how it is right now. They taste in the check. Streams. You hear these niggas? Streams. Stream, stream, stream. Hey, yo, stream these nuts, my nigga. No homo. <laughs> let me tell you something. These niggas be, they be lying. They be like, yo, like, niggas be like, yo, I got the number one this and I got the this and that and the third. No. Streaming, for those who don't know, means a nigga did not buy your shit. Mm-hmm. He listened to it for free. Tell a nigga, fuck the streams. What was the sales? <laughs> Right, real right. shit. How many niggas invested in, in listening to shit? Like, you understand? I don't understand this stream shit. And then they giving you a fucking tenth of a penny or some stupid shit. Get the fuck out. Yeah, we were just yo, looking at shit that is, shit. Yo, this shit is some nasty shit going on right now. Robbing And niggas. they not telling the artists the real number. We have still have not gotten the real number per stream because they know their niggas can add shit up and know what they supposed to get. This game is too fucked up right now. Probably next year they're going to tell us, okay, nigga, once you sell... T- right now they're saying a billion streams is, is platinum or some shit like that's that. What the fuck they it's, said? That's what, yeah, a billion. Come on, my nigga. Damn. For real? Come on, my nigga. But Imaginary but numbers that, and shit. But why, but why Why? y'all think they stopped selling CDs? Like, it's like they got rid of the CD because you could count your shit. How the fuck you count... Stream. The streams, right? That's a How? fact. They in total control of that shit. It means you gotta go to Tidal, Spotify, YouTube, Shazam. You gotta go through all every network that you get shit from, right? Mm-hmm. Then you gotta count all the streams you got from them. Add them. This shit is like it's some shit that is it's crazy. Fuck all that shit, man. Fuck you know all we that still shit. Griselda Records. We still sell physicals. I sell physicals off my page CDs, mm-hmm. and I said. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? We sell a ton of them shits, vinyls Shout and outs, everything. Credits, all that, my last shit. album, yeah. That's a fact, last pictures, year. art yeah. on the front of the shit, we still into that. Yeah, I want to shout my mother out, I want to shout everybody Real out of my shit. shit. I want Hell niggas yeah. to live that shit. Real talk, I'm with you. 
so I'll be rocking. I want to shout the weed man out who done brought me the pack when I recorded the, tr- the song. Yeah. 80 Day Shade for <laughs> 5 Street Sweeper Radio. Mm-hmm. So we got another joint we can jump into? Oh, did they bring it? Did they bring us? If they got it, we're going to throw the beat on right now. Throw the now. beat on. Fuck it. Throw the beat on, y'all. Beat this on. is what I've been waiting for any motherfucker. Throw the motherfucking way. beat on. Give me some on. bars, man. Ah. Give me some Uh-oh. bars, yo. Uh oh. Hey, they ain't shape, both five, ah. three people radio. My nigga yeah. can't say I was for you, Ready to butcher in the Tell building. Him. That's just up, man. Short and sweet. You know what I'm saying? Short and sweet. Drunk for y'all, man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I love this hip hop shit so much, man. You understand? No, it's, 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 it got to be in you, not on you. Exactly. Look, keep it locked, man. We got Benny the Butcher in the building. Torch, you got that freestyle I told you to play? You know what I'm saying? From my homie from Ohio. Shakur, you got a freestyle? Oh, you fuck it up, Torch. You fuck it up, Torch. Here, here, let me hit him with this. <laughs> gotta pop you, my nigga. You ain't on point. I gotta pop you. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta pop you. Hear it up. That be hard. That be, that be right there. That's crazy. And hey, y'all know that's the original getaway from Mob Deep. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Everybody hell know yeah. that's that. But, no, that's that's, a fact. but it's funny, homie that was up here from Albany mm-hmm. earlier was like, yo, give me that. So the, you, I was like, yeah. No, real I'm shit. I just like heard that. that he was playing that earlier. I'm like, yo, I'm going to rap over this shit. Well, all right, look, Torch, let me play this record right there. <laughs> Eight and eight, shade, four, five, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K, Slate, John McKing in the building. Benny the Butcher, we want to thank you for coming through, sitting down with you us. You already know, my nigga. A uh, building with, with us. You. you know what I'm saying? Letting mm-hmm. us know uh, about that hot ass project you got out right now. Shout it out. You know, I had to come through and stop up here. My nigga K Slate, shout out that Tanner Talk 3 on Griselda Records, man. It's streaming every motherfucking where. I got physicals on TannerTalk3.com. You know, I love the people. Real hip hop, man. This shit gonna live forever, man. Good looking, y'all. You already know. Yes, man. Chrissy D, I wanna thank you for sitting in with us tonight. You know I wanna saying? thank you for having me. You know? Definitely a pleasure. Ashley Ray wasn't feeling good. I was like, you know what? I, let me extend my arm. You know, I'm like an octopus in the game. I like to extend my arms and pull people in to try to help them, you know, push their movement. We're going to shout out what you got going on and where yes, you're doing what you're yes, doing Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Chrissy D and Hot Rod Radio. I want to shout out the Matrix Studios, too, because that's where I do my, my show, where I, I interview upcoming artists. And, you know, I give them a platform to do the same things that you guys are doing. So I want to give a shout out to DJ Hot Rod, by the way, my co-host. I know and Hot I'm just, Rod. Yeah, most definitely. And I'm just happy to be here. Okay, that's what's up. Young lady that just walked in the building. I'm about to do an interview with her. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, let them know what's the name of your platform. The name of my platform is Remy TV. I interview mm-hmm. celebrities and I interview local talent and basically introduce them in a positive light and the complete opposite of, you know, what a lot of radio hosts do and try to get scandal out of them. And where you from? Providence, Rhode Island. Okay, that's what's up. She reached out to me from Instagram. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And like I said, I like to see the ladies win. Just like the brothers, I extend the same right. platform. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. No fuckery involved. No dick on the plate. You understand? No shit. These are the same chicks that, well, you know, not everybody, but was in on the block with us. Some of them got shot with us, arrested, held stashes in their motherfucking crib, and all that. So... Instead of that, we don't love these hoes and fuck these bitches. Right. My nigga, if a real nigga ain't rock with your mama, you wouldn't be here, you dickhead. That's you understand what I'm saying? Right. That's how I give it up. I can't speak for everybody else. But again, this is what I do up here. Benny the Butcher, you want to shout anything out? Hey, yo, man, shout out everybody, man. Shout out the whole Griselda Records, my boy City Boy, my nigga Rick Hyde up with me. These niggas, they go everywhere with me. I know these niggas sick of this shit, man. We working hard, man. You already know what it is. Buffalo, shout out everybody out on Instagram. Y'all know what it is. We up out of here. I'll see y'all next week. Shade 4-5. Go on.